Has this ever happened to you? Judging by what we see people saying online, it's happened to a lot of people whenever they're trying to transfer paint over from regular bottles into dropper bottles. And it certainly happened to us an awful lot when we were getting in the samples for our paints and we we're trying to put them into dropper bottles for testing. I was getting paint all over the place. It was taking ages. I was making a huge mess. And Roger was laughing at me all the way through it. And this was until his wife came into the room and took one look at us and said, why aren't you using an icing bag? Now we wondered exactly what she was talking about until she showed us one of them and it's, it's genius really. This is one, here we go, and one that we got online and you can see the idea of it is you put icing sugar into the end of it and you use it for making decorations on cakes. But what we're interested in are these nozzles and you get loads of them in these bags of all sorts of different shapes and sizes and things. But what's interesting about these is that they're stainless steel. Now normally when people are putting paints into drop bottles they'll use cones and they'll 3D print them or they'll use paper ones and discard each one after they've used it. But this, being stainless steel, is really easy to to clean. So you can see it's a really good cone this and also in the sets they come with these little brushes which means it's very easy to clean them out once you put a paint through them as well. So they're actually perfect for this kind of thing. So this is what we're going to be doing with this one, show you exactly what we mean. All you got to do is get your dropper bottle and you simply just put the cone into it there like that and then you get your colour of choice. So I've got a nice red here. All you got to do is pour it directly into the cone and what you'll have is a little gap around the top just there which allows some air to escape. So as you're pouring it it starts going through really nicely and decants down into the bottle, meaning no mess, no fuss. Once that paint's fully decanted through, the next thing to do is just to remove the cone. So just pop it onto a piece of tissue like that so it doesn't stain the table with anything. But then what you need to do is to pop the nib into the paint pot. And to do this, all you gotta do is get hold of the nib and just kind of put it in lightly there like that, just pressing it down until it starts to really resist. So about that far like that. And then rather than squishing it down because you can end up sort of folding the bottle and getting paint everywhere, instead just get your cap and get it so it's on the thread and then screw it down as far as it will go. And what this does is forces the nib down on the inside so it gets a full seal and then there you go. You're ready to give it a good shake and you set to use the paint. Now with this done, what we then need to do is to clean that cone. And this is why being stainless steel is such a beauty here because, well, this is why they use it in professional kitchens because it's so easy to get completely clean and that's what we're going to do now. All you've got to do is go over to the sink and because this is acrylic water-based paint we can just start running it through so just run some water through there. I tend to go for warm water here to make it a little bit easier to clean and you just give it a good scrub with that brush until it all flows through and then all you've got to do is get a little bit of tissue paper and just use that to dab the inside just to help dry it out. And with that done you're then ready for the next colour. And there we are, we've got a nice clean cone and you can see it's nice and clean on the inside too. And the bottles have the paint transferred into it. No mess, no fuss, nice and easy to do. And all we've got to do is peel off the old label from the old bottle and stick it onto this one and it's ready to go. As for the cone, well, as you've seen, using these is actually really convenient. So as opposed to 3D printing loads of cones where the color gets stained on the inside, then you have to throw them away and use other ones or even paper cones where you've got to assemble them yourselves. This is so easy to use and they're really cheap as well, really easy to find. I and mean, you can get them in pound shops and things like that. So it's a great tool to have in your your arsenal. So I hope you guys enjoyed that one and we'll see you again very soon.